the double slit experiment is one of the most mysterious, fascinating, and paradigm-shattering experiments ever conducted. It's simple on the surface, yet its results have deep implications for the nature of reality, and it has puzzled physicists for over a century. Buckle up, we're diving into the rabbit hole of quantum mechanics. The experiment, a prelude. Imagine you're holding a flashlight and pointing it toward a wall with two small slits in it, one next to the other. What would you expect to see on the wall behind it? If you're picturing two straight lines of light, one from each slit, that makes perfect sense, right? After all, if light behaves like tiny particles, or photons, each photon should go through one slit or the other and land in a line directly behind it. Now, instead of light, imagine shooting tiny pebbles through the slits. They'd hit the back wall and create two clusters, directly opposite the slits, just as you'd expect. This is straightforward stuff. But here's where things start to get strange. Enter, waves in the interference pattern. Light, as it turns out, can also act as a wave. And waves don't behave like pebbles. When waves pass through two slits, they spread out and overlap, creating a distinctive pattern on the back wall known as an interference pattern, a series of bright and dark bands. The bright spots form where the waves from each slit meet in step, constructive interference, and the dark spots where they cancel each other out, destructive interference. So, if light is a wave, shining it through two slits should create an interference pattern instead of two lines. And that's exactly what happens. When we shine light through two slits, we see multiple bands, not just two. Light behaves like a wave. This is all well and good until we decide to take things further. Quantum curiosity, one photon at a time. Scientists decided to go a step further and send photons through the slits one at a time. Here, they thought, they'd see the particle behavior more clearly, as there would only be one photon going through at any given moment. You'd expect a single photon to hit the back wall right behind the slit it went through, right? But when they started sending individual photons, something bizarre happened. Each photon, one by one, gradually formed an interference pattern on the back wall, as if each photon somehow knew where the other photons had gone, even though they were sent individually and had no way of interacting. Somehow, even single particles were behaving like waves, spreading out and interfering with themselves. This was mind-bending. It seemed as though each photon was going through both slits at once. Watching the particles, quantum spies. Unable to believe this self-interference, scientists tried another trick. They placed a detector at each slit to see exactly which slit each photon was going through. Now they could observe the photon's path, finally catching it in the act of passing through both slits simultaneously, right? And that's when things got even stranger. As soon as they placed a detector by the slits, the interference pattern disappeared. Instead, the photons hit the wall as two neat lines, just as if they were particles, not waves. It was as if the very act of observing forced the photons to choose a definite path, either one slit or the other, and stop behaving like waves. In short, when unobserved, photons seemed to go through both slits at once, acting like waves. But as soon as they were watched, they behaved like particles, choosing one path and abandoning the interference pattern. The quantum conundrum, observation changes reality. This experiment wasn't just spooky, it suggested something deeply unsettling about the nature of reality. In the quantum world, particles like photons don't have definite states until we observe them. Until we look, they exist in a superposition of all possible states, in this case, going through both slits at once. But as soon as we observe, reality collapses into a single outcome. In essence, reality at the quantum level is influenced by observation. This gives rise to countless philosophical questions. Does the observer create reality? What does observation even mean? And who, or what, is the ultimate observer? The quantum eraser experiment, it can get spookier. The quantum eraser experiment takes the mystery of the double slit experiment to an even stranger level, suggesting that even the timing of our observations can change reality. In this experiment, scientists use detectors to observe which slit a particle passes through, seemingly causing it to behave like a particle instead of a wave, no interference pattern, just two lines. However, if they then erase this information or make it impossible to know which path the particle took, the interference pattern mysteriously reappears. This erasure can even happen after the particle has already hit the detector, implying that actions taken in the present can retroactively change outcomes in the past. The quantum eraser experiment raises profound questions about causality and time, suggesting that at the quantum level, the nature of reality is even more flexible and mysterious than previously imagined. 
Schrodinger's cat, a thought experiment to break your brain. The double slit experiment opened the door to concepts that would inspire some of the most famous thought experiments in physics, like Schrodinger's cat. Picture a cat in a box with a device that has a 50 to 50 chance of releasing a poison based on the decay of a radioactive atom. Until you open the box to check, the cat is in a superposition of both alive and dead. Just like the photons in the double slit experiment, its fate isn't decided until it's observed. What does it all mean? The double slit experiment doesn't just challenge our understanding of physics, it challenges our understanding of existence itself. It suggests that particles, and perhaps everything else, don't have definite states until they're observed, and that at a fundamental level, our universe is probabilistic and interconnected in ways we can't fully comprehend. This experiment is one of the cornerstones of quantum mechanics, a field that has led to groundbreaking technologies, from quantum computers to lasers. And yet, we still don't fully understand the nature of what we observed in that experiment. So, what are particles? Waves? Both? Neither? The double slit experiment doesn't give us answers, only questions, haunting questions that shake the very foundations of reality. It shows us that the universe is far more mysterious, interconnected, and perhaps even conscious than we might ever have imagined. In the end, it reminds us of the words of physicist Richard Feynman, I think I can safely say that nobody understands quantum mechanics.